Game two. Early shots, baby. Gotta get them releases early. I don't know who shoots like what. Switch. Green's checked in. Both shots good from the strike. Here's Paul. Oh, three and a half minutes left. Oh my god. I ran right into it. Damn. Thank you. Call a fucking foul. I held that shit long as hell. <laughs> That's what he does. He's hacked the heart of the defense and gets straight to the rim. Hey. And speaking of for Kobe Bryant, as you said, battling age. He'll be, uh, he's 33 right now going into this season. Wear and tear. A part of the game who's played so many minutes. Three season, regular season, almost playoffs. Clark, he said his kneecap is almost bone on bone. He's got a, an arthritic right index finger on his shooting hand. It continues on. The guy's tough. That's not a charge? Are you kidding me? He's of a long, successful career. And he takes pride in that, but he also recognizes the reality. Oh! Most of the time, you don't find out about those health issues. That's again a part of his desire to, once he gets between the lines, to focus 100% on the task at hand. not want to make excuses. And with his talent and his resume, he never needs to help. Just make him no fucking shape. That's all you gotta do. Make his ass shake. Ten points. He has taken over this game, guys. I don't know what else you can say about it. Damn. Eighteen feet away. Get in front of him. Now Kobe, eight points for him. Kobe, Blake for three. Fuck. Back to Kobe. Here's a cover. Oh, Megan, and every shot, like, take five shots to get this shit. single-handedly bring his team back on what a fantastic board he's had. On a tough lesson conference, and his opponents were able to hold their own. Fuck. They were able to carve out a winning record against Western Dakota. And the Lakers with some changes. Odom comes in for Andrew Bynum. And it's Brown in for Cody. The Hornets also changing it up. 
Carl Landry's checked in for Okafor. And it's Bellinelli in for Trevor Ariza. Here's Paul. He's got 10. Outside, green. Back to Paul. Six to shoot. Come on! I'll get that? This is crazy, man. surprise early on. They eventually settled back down to earth, but that play in November was a big part of them getting back to the playoffs. From 17 feet out. Of course, I'll be shit. No good. The Lakers wow. turn. Wait with it. He kicks to Gasol. Backing him down. Right block shot. No good. And New Orleans will take it the other way. Ball outside. Right through. Oh, really? Wow. Here are the Lakers. Trailing by two. Here's the song. Come on, man. Checked in for the Lakers. Oh, Fisher comes in for Steve Blake. And that drops, so they now lead by one. There's 21 seconds left to play here in the first. Fisher against Paul. Seconds left. That's good on the jump shot. Paul's <coughs> got 12 points in the game. Guys, no one team. Please don't give him back. Give him take back and forth the whole way this month. Yeah, six lead changes already. And there's just plenty of them. One of play. One is ahead, leading by a point. I was impressed with their transition game, guys. They really got out and ran the lane. Yeah, they did. I mean, no better way to get easy buckets than through fast break. And we'll be back in just a moment. And I'll tell you what, guys. Derek Fisher has had a lot on his plate the last couple of years. He's the president of the NBA Players Association. He scared the shit out of Not him. only was he trying to lead his team to a championship, but he's been trying to fix these, these labor issues as well. And now brought to you by Avery, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's lose our lineups. What? So the Hornets five right now. Is out there with Jared Jack, and there's Carl Landry, and it's Trevor Ariza. And Doris Burke has a report for us from the sideline. Well, Kevin, one of the keys to the Hornets' success last year was the play they received from their reserves. As Willie Green, one of those players off the bench, said, our first unit does a great job of coming out and setting the tone. Yes, look at sure. that. Got it. We always want to come in and match their energy and make sure we don't have any let-ups on the defensive end of the floor. Pretty sound strategy, oh. guys. Oh. Easy shot, so in the gym before and after practice, and he just worked and worked, and now he's got multiple rings. They both, he and Kobe both have won the five rings. Yeah, they, uh, they really hooked at the hip, huh? He fell for that shit? Come on! You gotta be kidding me.
15 years, the Lakers are on average the best offense in the NBA. Oh. But in crunch time, ironically, they fall to around 12th best offensive. It's not nearly as effective. Go back to the Lakers and they're let down as far as crunch time offense goes. Good point by you. Steve, you take it up. Why do you think that's so? Well, I think Kobe's not the player that he once was, Kevin. I mean, he's not as athletic. He's not uh, as capable as he used to be getting shots off uh, against any type of defense. And uh, I think the rest of the guys maybe lost a little confidence in themselves. They turned the wrong direction. Good percentage shot, though. That's one they'll take any day of the week. Goes up from the top of the key. Kobe, no good. I mean, not much defense. He had a really good look at the hoop. Too early. Oh, nice. He caught it. Thank you. At least they didn't just give up when they saw they couldn't reach. He caught it and brought it back down. That's, that's perfect. What a tight start to the game this has been. You know what? Can you believe there have been seven lead changes already? Wow. Let's go in the first half. I mean, the way this thing is going, this could turn into a wild one. Some changes for the Lakers. Peel around. He's just checked in for Bynum. It's Odin in for Pau Gasol. The Hornets also changing it up. Number four comes in for Trevor Reese. And it's Paul in for Jared Jack. Now Mike Brown taking over as coach of the Lakers this season. I think it's a good fit. He always wanted to have to coach a star because he's a lot of big games. No doubt he'll be under the spotlight in L.A. with the Lakers. Hit by Okafor. points for Chris Paul. We'll speak going back to Mike Brown once more. They're going to expect a lot from him from the get-go. Uh, with the rest of the shit out of that Los show. Angeles, where the NBA is number one out there. Oh yeah, there's definitely some additional scrutiny and pressure. Uh, it'll be a little hotter on that scene for Mike Brown, but you know what? He coached LeBron Almost. James in Cleveland, where expectations were high. And I've seen Mike grow as an assistant coach with the Pacers. He's a high-quality guy and a terrific basketball coach. It's win it all or nothing out in L.A. And I think at this point in his career, he's ready for the challenge.